He might have and off to Atlantis as computers has a curve. So rocket booster nozzle still check and work. Firing chain is armed. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0. And liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. Shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three well, liquid fuel main engines down. throttling back to 72% of radio performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Throttle up. What do you see there, Rex? Three at 104. ET is uh, about point eight drop with zero seven. In the positive or negative direction? Negative. 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 Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Stand by. Easy less than 50. All right, close your shoes to open your visor. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. Dead pressures. The propulsion officer reports the orbital wow. maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Coming, uh, coming down. Atlantis, two engine towel. Two engine towel. of the slightly late launch time, Capcom Barry Wilmore reading up to pilot Doug Hurley the updated abort boundaries for Atlantis, which is flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's large fuel tank. Three and a half minutes into the flight, Atlantis traveling 4,200 miles an hour, 54 miles in altitude, already 120 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good yeah. fuel cells for Atlantis. It's nice up here. At 300,000 feet. <laughs> Atlantis, negative return. Negative return. Negative return. That call from Capcom Barry Wilmore indicating that we're too high in altitude, too far downrange to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. However, Atlantis's three engines performing perfectly. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. And Prestige is next. Tapping. 
Atlanta's currently traveling 5,500 miles an hour, 62 miles in altitude, almost 200 miles downrange. Four minutes of powered flight remaining. I'm looking forward to the story about the Atlanta Arch speeding Warner. straight as an arrow toward its date uh, with the International Space now. Station oh. Sunday morning. I don't remember liftoff being quite that violent. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Coming up on the five minute mark. Atlantis now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 250 miles downrange. Atlantis, press to ATO. Press to ATO. That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its slow roll to a heads up position shortly. Five and a half minutes into the flight, Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. There's a roll. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding the main engines to swivel. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. We've rolled to a heads up position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as Atlantis heads uphill. Wow. Yeah. Six minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. 2.1. Atlantis crashed to Miko. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main Talk engines to continue down, to function normally. Nominal. Fergie, go to the press X, go to the pitch. You got it. Nominal shutdown plan, go for the press X, go to the pitch. All right, Sandy, all ready? Yeah, we're ready. Go for the press X, go for the pitch. That call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of Atlantis for external tank uh, photography following the main engine fire. Now seven minutes into the flight. You think you'd be throwing now? Zero. Coming up on throttling. I agree. One minute, 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlantis traveling 12,000 miles an hour. The main engines will uh, soon be throttling down once again to limit the stress on the shuttle and its four crew members to that of three times the effective gravity. Atlantis currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlantis. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlantis now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. It's 15 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Miko! That was a Miko. That was a Miko. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. That's the tank. I'll wait for 104. There's 104. I see an HA grader. Atlantis Once off the data. tank. There we go. Commander okay. Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. Your preliminary is 37 minutes. Uh, no hands, one required, thanks. One required, thanks. 